Middle school years can be rough. A lot of people like make fun of other kids and stuff. But at the Anthony Wayne Middle School in Wayne, Passaic County, New Jersey, bullying is unfortunately making it harder for a growing number of students. I mean, like, it's pretty bad. Wayne school officials are reportedly seeing a 30% increase in bullying incidents across the entire district compared to last year, with a number of them happening at Anthony Wayne. I think it's terrible, you know, that kids could treat other kids unfairly. One Wayne parent posting on Facebook, quote, two out of four of my children are experiencing consistent bullying from children in their schools, adding something needs to be done. Superintendent Dr. Mark Toback sent PIX11 News a statement defending the district's handling of the bullying cases. It reads in part, quote, we investigate each claim. This being the case, the number of total reported cases tends to be higher. The important point is that after investigation and evaluating each case, only 35 to 40 percent of reported cases turn out to be confirmed cases of HIV. HIV stands for harassment, intimidation, and bullying, and it is clearly not an issue just in Wayne. And these kids don't want to go to school. Jonathan Etman is a Wayne parent, a town councilman, and an attorney who says about 40% of his practice now focuses on bullying incidents across New Jersey. He says while he does not have enough information to comment on any of the reported bullying incidents here in town, children pay the price for the consequences, both physically and emotionally. There's a Latin term, loco parentis, meaning that the school is serving in the role of the parent. According to the Pacer National Bullying Prevention Center, one out of five students report bullying. 41% of bullied students thought it would happen again, and most bullying occurs in hallways and stairwells and classrooms. Jane Clementi now focuses full time on HIV prevention. After her son Tyler committed suicide in 2010 while attending Rutgers University, after he was bullied for his sexuality. I really think that if we want to decrease bullying behavior, we have to increase empathy by sharing stories, by making sure everyone knows that it's okay to be different. Wayne parents are, of course, expected to continue expressing their opinions online and during Thursday's school board meeting. In Wayne, New Jersey, Jay Dow, Pix11 News.